If you've ever wanted to embrace the enchanting energy of the ocean with your makeup, then you should definitely try my take on the Ocean Eyes makeup look. This look will evoke a sense of power and will really bring out your inner water sign. So if you want to know how to achieve this alluring ocean eyes makeup look, then keep watching. The most important part of this look is the blue eye contacts. And guys, this is my first time wearing blue eye contacts and I'm so shocked right now. But it doesn't look too bad. I actually really like it. Like obviously I'm kind of taken back. But at the same time, it's not too, too, too fake looking in a way. The contacts that I'm wearing right now is from the brand Chow Chow. I don't know how to pronounce it. I think that's how you pronounce it. Chow Chow, like the dog. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. So with these contacts, they're the one day disposable ones and they're 14.2 millimeters. With the contacts that I normally wear, they're probably around like 13.8 millimeters, but these ones are 14.2 millimeters. I know the main component of this look is the eyes, but I also do want to focus on the complexion as well. So with that being said, in order for the complexion to look good, we want our base to look good, which means good skincare. So I'm going to be using this toner from Tony Molly, and this is the one in the Tea Tree Wonder. Point when it comes to toners, I do prefer the ones that say tea tree just because I feel like whenever I get acne, um, my skin gets really irritated and therefore when I use it on my skin, it feels really relieving and it feels like this cooling effect on the skin. Next up is moisturizer. So this one is called the Rice Ceramide. With this one, this moisturizer is a little bit thick so this is why I kind of use it more at night time or especially in winter when my skin gets a bit drier. But the thing is, I ran out of the other moisturizer, so I'm just going to be using this one for today. Okay, so the last skincare step that we're going to be doing is sunscreen. This is from the brand Fairy Skin. As you can see, I just applied the sunscreen on my two fingers, and that's how I measure how much sunscreen that I'll be needing. For the base, I'll be using the Cushion Foundation by Vanilla Co. When it comes to cushion foundations, normally I get the ones that are like light to medium coverage. I didn't realize that this cushion was like medium to high coverage. So that's why when I press onto it and I put it on, instead of putting it all directly over my face, I just put it in one spot first like this and I just blend it in as if I'm spot treating a pimple. And this is how you can prevent your makeup from looking too cakey by doing this method. Okay, once you run out of product, now you can put more. I'm just gonna do my brows off camera really quickly, but basically I just use a eyebrow pencil and then I go in with this brow gel. Because we're gonna do a colorful look, I'm gonna go in and prime the eyes. So I'm just gonna be using my concealer and then putting that on. All right, the first color we're gonna go into <laughs> what the heck? Why does it sound nasty? But like... The first eyeshadow palette we're going to be using is the Mahogany Garden by Roman. And I'm going to mix these two colors together. I'm going to go in and attempt a cut crease. I haven't done this in ages. It might look like shit, but it's a risk I'm willing to take. With this cut crease, I'm not going to do the whole thing. I'm only going to do a half cut crease, so I'll show you guys. So instead of going the whole way, I'm just going to do half. Like this. And I'm going to stop here. This requires a lot of focus and precision. There's the one who's talking at the same time. This is what I mean by a half cut crease because I'm not going to go all the way here. I'm, I'm going to finish halfway like this. To really neutralize and blend everything out, I'm going to go with the second rose color and blend it in the middle and try to blend everything together. We're going to be adding some glitter onto the eyes this is from the roman palette as well and this one is in the glitter garden this is my favorite eyeshadow palette although i don't use it a lot but i love it so much i'm gonna go in with this one and apply it onto the blue part 
I'm gonna go in with this pink one here and just apply that in the middle where we applied the pink color. We're gonna go back to the base with these two products right here. This is from Peri Pera and this is in the shade 21. And I'm also gonna go in with this all over paint tint by the brand BLK Cosmetics. This is the She Glam Setting Powder Duo. It has the translucent powder with the pressed powder on top. So if you open it like this, there's a translucent powder. But on top here is the pressed powder itself. As you guys know, when it comes to blush, I like applying the liquid blush before applying the powder blush. So it prevents it from not looking too streaky and also the color is more vibrant as well. So the blush that I'll be using is a 3CE in Youth Pink. And I'm just going to apply that right under the eyes. And a little bit on the nose. And on the chin. Uh, I'm just going to apply that in the middle of my lips. For the second layer of the lips, I'm going to be using the Pout Pillow by She Glam Cosmetics and this is the lip gloss. Okay, I forgot. I want to go in and tight line my eyes. So when it comes to tight lining, you can lift it up like this. But in this case, I don't really want to touch my eyeshadows. I'm going to finish off with some setting spray. This is from the brand Josie. I really love the setting spray because it really does the job. And also the packaging is really aesthetic as well. But it doesn't look that aesthetic now because like, obviously it looks kind of dirty. But you know, I love this so much. It's so good. And I think it was only like 8 bucks as well. Okay guys, hair time. And ta-da! Guys, this is the finished look. Why am I holding a Sanrio plushie? I don't know. I just thought it kind of matched with this aesthetic. But guys, I finished the makeup look. What do you guys think? Oh, I love this full transformation. It is very bringing the inner Pisces out of me. Oh,